YouTube, welcome back to my channel. This is Canadian Retro. I've got another pickups video for you here. This one's uh, pretty interesting because I got one of my most anticipated items. It took a little while to get here because there was some uh, a little bit of confusion, I think, between uh, Extra Life and myself. But this finally arrived, and I'm super stoked about it. And that's my Extra Life medal for uh, last year. So really pumped about that. That basically tells you right there that we raised $500 um, for Sick Kids Hospitals here in Toronto. So I'm really pumped about that and thanks to everyone who has helped out with that and uh, supported me along the way, uh, given me advice. You know who you are. You're such a wonderful community. I appreciate it, especially um, those people in the Cartridge Club that uh, you know were out there all day long tweeting and everything and I wanna thank uh, Nicholas who, um, was a former student of mine but he actually moderates uh my chat and everything like that to make sure everybody keeps it clean and i really appreciate that and obviously he donated and he like basically watched um all day long uh to check it out and if you're not totally aware of what extra life is all about um what i end up doing on the game day which is in november it's that weekend where the time goes back here in, in at least north america the time goes back for an hour um i stream for 25 hours basically um, during that that day it starts at 8 in the morning goes to 8 in the morning the next day and of course at 2 o'clock in the morning the time goes back to 1 o'clock in the morning so uh, pretty cool uh, event that's for sure I really enjoy doing it it's a little draining that day but at the same time um, absolutely worth it and again thank you so much to everybody who helped raise uh, that $500 mark and I really appreciate all of your help with that uh, moving along though, let's get into the regular style pickups here, but the first thing I wanted to show you is something my buddy MC Murr might be interested in, and if you are, man, this is all yours, is coming your way, and that is an Atari SF-14 disk drive. Now, I have no idea if this works, because I have no way of testing it, I don't have the wires and cables and everything that go with this, but I mean, it looks visually in nice shape, and for $8, uh, I couldn't turn it down, I wanted to uh, grab that for... You know him if he's interested in that. I, he doesn't even know about this yet. This is the first time he's seeing this. So if you see this video, you know, give me a PM or whatever and let me know uh, if you're interested in that. If not, I'll just, you know, eBay it away or something. Um, moving on though, into some things that I'm gonna keep for my collection. This is the Super Gamepad wireless controller with turbo feature. And it works for the uh, SNES Classic and the Wii and the Wii U. So really cool right there. Um, I didn't have one of these already. It has turbo function, basically modeled after like a Super Nintendo controller, but it seems a little bit uh, narrower, but that could just be the layout of it. But what I've heard, good reviews for this. Uh, my wife found this in a Goodwill. We were visiting somebody and across the street was a Goodwill. And on our way out, we were like, ah, oh, let's just stop in there and see what's going on. And uh, she found this while I was looking through the racks of media for video games. So pretty pumped about that. And $6, not gonna turn that down. Uh, moving on from there, got, let's see here, a couple of games. These are at the same time. Um, I didn't have this one in the collection, that's why I picked it up. I'm not too sure about anything about it, really. I just think it's sort of like a cooperative kind of game where you help, the characters sort of help each other out. They have, like, different strengths, and you have to use their strengths to get through the levels. I'm not totally certain about that. But at the same time, uh, I did want to uh, pick it up anyway, and that's Ed, Ed and Eddie. I don't know if you guys know this game on GameCube. If it's any good, you let me know. But I picked that one up and that one there was $6, which is not too bad of a deal. Uh, this part, next part's a little bit of a bummer though. And I picked up Chrono Cross, which you think, how, how could that possibly be a bummer? Uh, it was $4, but unfortunately the discs inside are not Chrono Cross, they're demo discs. So this one's the February 2001 demo disc that's in here. And then the other one is uh, March 2001. And the funny thing about Chrono Cross is whenever I find this in the wild, it is never what it is. I always see like the case and then missing artwork or it's missing the manual or it's broken discs or whatever. I've never found this game actually complete. So continuing my, my quest with Chrono Cross and never finding it complete, that's where we're at. I do have a complete copy of this game, but uh, it's taken a while to piece that together. So now I have some more pieces of Chrono Cross lying around in the collection. Uh, some I picked up for $6. I don't know if I should have left it behind, but it's Wizards and Warrior Fortress of Fear, which I believe plays like that Wizards and Warrior game on the NES. I think it's actually cleaned up a little bit um, for this version, as in, like, I think it's a little bit smoother from what I remember. I looked a little bit up about this, but it came with a hard case for $6. And I'll use that case for another game. So I'm pretty, pretty pumped with that. So not too bad of a deal. 
picked up some uh, NES uh, covers just for, you know, putting around my box games. So that was just an eBay find. I don't even remember what I paid for those. Not, a, not anything like super special right there. Uh, picked up a couple of controllers as well. These were on two different days, but uh, essentially the same price, I'm pretty sure. And this was uh, $5. This is a smoke gray PS1 controller. I believe this is for PS PS1. But yeah, so pretty cool right there. I like to pick up like the varying colors and they're, they just look really cool. And I really like the color of this one. This one always like impresses me when I see it. And this is the, I don't know, like teal green kind of uh, translucent one. So really nice right there. And that was also $5. So not too bad at all. Back into a few more games here. Uh, this one here I picked up yesterday and that is Marvel uh, vs. Capcom 3, Ultimate uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Did not have that in the collection, so I picked that up and that was uh, $4.99, so not bad for $4.99. And then these ones are a little bit more pricey by a dollar, but they're $5.99 at the Value Pillage, and that is Aliens vs. Predator. And I also picked up Ghostbusters, the video game, which I think I have on PS3. I'm not totally certain about that right now, but I wasn't gonna turn it away, and if you haven't played this game, Absolutely, you should play it. This one here I've never played before, so I'm gonna have to check that one out as well. The final thing I wanted to show you here, which I'm pretty pretty pumped about because you don't see this every single day, uh, I ended up getting a Sega Master System, so that's pretty nice. I already have one of these in my collection and I have a box one uh, as well, but uh, still cool uh, nonetheless to find that out in the wild. You don't see that every single day. Came with uh, two controllers, the zapper, unfortunately, no AV cable or power cord with it, which is kind of a bummer, but that's what it is. I have a copy of Shanghai, which I didn't have in the collection. So that's kind of nice, unfortunately, missing its manual, but what are you going to do, right? But otherwise, like, the cartridge looks in pretty decent shape, and, you know, uh, it'll sit nicely on the shelf anyway, and you don't really see Master System games out there too frequently. So I thought I, you know, when I picked everything up, I just, it was all there in the same bag, so, you know, Anyway, uh, moving on, uh, also picked up Monster Boy, uh, sorry, Wonder Boy, Monster Boy, Wonder Boy in Monsterland. And uh, this one here does not have the artwork on it, unfortunately, it does have the case. So, I mean, still cool nonetheless, I already have it in the collection. So again, that'll just be like a recouper. And for that entire lot, I used the $5 off coupon, so I ended up paying about 30 bucks for it. Thought that was a pretty good deal, and I'll end up uh, flipping that when I figure out which uh, Master System. I want to keep because it depends on what the pack in built in games are on these systems it's so different and they they vary from uh you know version to version so i have to figure out which one uh i'd like to hold on to but that being said that's everything i found this time around i know it's been a while but it's been pretty dry out there as far as finding uh, video game things uh if you want to check out my ad and d second edition channel you're more than welcome to do that i'll put links down below to below to that because i seem to be have been finding more stuff uh, for Dungeons and Dragons than I have for uh, video games lately. But that's everything I got for you this time around. Thanks again for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do feel free to thumbs up this video, comment down below, and I will see you all later.